Hi, my name is Aaron, and this is my show, Reeducation. And today, I'm going to talk about anarcho-communism, specifically the definition of anarcho-communism itself. It comes up so often in my comment section that I think it's necessary to actually dedicate an entire video to this so I can talk about exactly what I mean when I'm saying anarcho-communism. You see, anarcho-communism basically means anarcho, the abolishment of all unnecessary hierarchies, and communism, the worker control and ownership of the means of production. Now, what exactly does that mean? So let's break it down. Anarcho. It means that I want to abolish all unnecessary hierarchies. Now, that doesn't mean that I think that all hierarchies need to be abolished. I just think that they all need to be justified. They need to be voted on by the people who are in that community. Now, communism is obviously the worker control and ownership of the means of production. Now, that means that the workers own and control the factories, the plants, the cars, trucks, planes, trains, and automobiles that ship all of their goods around and all of the equipment that is used to produce those goods. They basically own production. They own everything that is able to produce goods in the society. That is the idea of having a communist structure. Now, remember that there are two different definitions of communism when you're talking about it. The first being hard communism, which is basically an idealist utopia of extreme abundance where everybody works to the best of their abilities and is provided to them everything that the community can provide. But the communism that I'm specifically talking about is soft communism, which is the worker control and ownership of the means of production, which is what I was talking about before. A lot of people call this socialism, specifically Richard Wolff calls this socialism, the act of going from a capitalist state to a communist state is basically a socialist movement, is basically soft communism, and that's what I'm talking about here. So when I'm talking about communism, I'm talking about the workers owning and controlling the means of production. I'm not talking about the government or the state owning and controlling it. That is not the same thing. That would be authoritarian communism. And I am not for that. I am for anarcho-communism, where the workers are the ones that own and control the means of production. And if you ask me, I would personally say that it is technically the only true type of communism you can have. Because if you have a system that has people above and people below, those people above are inevitably going to be the ones with the most power and the ones that are able to own and control the means of production. And you can't have that if you want to have worker control and ownership of the means of production. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so really quickly, when it comes to anarchy, there are a couple of different definitions that you can use. The first one being the most common that everybody hears, which is a lack of leadership resulting in complete chaos. That is not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is the economic definition of anarchy, which is the abolishment of all unnecessary hierarchies. There is a difference in that. The conflicting definitions that you see with the word anarchy are very similar to the conflicting definitions that you see with the word theory. When you're talking about a theory in scientific terms, it means basically 100% proven fact. But when you're talking about a theory in colloquial terms, collo co colloquial, whatever, when you're talking about it in normal terms, you're talking about something that is basically a guess, an idea, um, something that people kind of have a hunch on. It's not the same thing. When I'm talking about anarchism, I'm not talking about it in normal terms. I'm talking about it in economic terms. Now, another thing that I've come across in the past is that a lot of people have a problem with me using the word anarcho before I say communist, because they think that anarcho would basically be a given, like I explained before. But I would have to disagree because we do consider communist, for the most part, in normal terms, to be referring to the authoritarian communism of Mao, Stalin, or Lenin. But that is not what we're talking about. We're talking about specifically anarcho-communism. And it's very similar, again, to the way that we use the word agnostic atheist when we're talking about somebody's specific beliefs. Agnostic is a clarifier that is specifically talking about a factual claim, and atheist is a specific argument that's talking about a belief claim. 
And very similar to this, anarcho is a statement of leadership, whereas communist is a statement of ownership. At least that's the way I look at it. Anyway, this is my show, Reeducation. My name is Aaron. Thanks for watching.